Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a little blast from the past and I am filming a favorites video for the month of July. Now all of my OG old subscribers would know that I used to do favorites almost every month on this channel and I've decided starting with July, 2017, I am going to be doing favorite videos again every single month. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start with fashion because obviously fashion is very close to my heart and my soul. So it was actually really difficult only picking out a few things from this month that I've been loving because I love so many things, but I managed to narrow it down to only two things to show you guys. So the first one is something I've literally worn so often this month. Like this would be hands down my most worn clothing piece this month. And it is this denim jacket from Fashion Nova. This light blue color and it is so cute because it's all distressed as you guys can see. It has little holes that have been distressed in it and it has bleach spots all on the back and I love it so much. I am convinced that people at uni think that I only own one jacket because like I wear it that often. So this is from Fashion Nova and I love it so, so much. And the second clothing item that I'm going to show you guys today is actually also from Fashion Nova. Not sponsored by them, I just love their stuff so much. And it is this black pair of dress pants, I guess you'd call them. They're just, they're pretty simple. They're just like black flowy pants that have this cute little tie-up thing at the front here. Where's the other side to it? There it is. Just have this cute little tie-up thing at the front and they're just plain simple black pants but I am obsessed with them. I love these pants so much because lately it has been pretty cold where I live. By cold I mean like 22 degrees Celsius because uh, welcome to Australia, we don't really get winter here, but it's been cold for me, so when I go out clubbing and stuff, I try to dress a little bit warmer, and I'm not really a big fan of jeans because they're just tight and they just get uncomfortable, I just hate wearing jeans, but I still wear them because like, I have to, but these pants have been my holy grail because they're still really cute, they're in fashion, and they are comfortable and keep me warm, so this amazing so basically I wear this jacket during the every day and these pants every night <laughs> alright so moving on from fashion we are gonna get into makeup which makeup itself is something that I've been loving for the month of July I never really used to be into makeup but recently I've been like dabbling in it a little bit more <laughs> so as you guys would know with most things I do I go really extra and I used to do that a lot with my makeup like do really extra eyes and stuff my camera just ran out of space but anyway as I was saying Ever since the Kim K collabs with Patrick Starr and Jacqueline, I've been really feeling like the minimal makeup that she's been showing, like the makeup looks, the like no makeup makeup looks. So there's still a lot involved, but it doesn't look like there's a lot involved. So I've been really feeling that this month. That's a favorite by itself. In terms of makeup products, there have been a few things that I have been feeling. So the first thing that is my favorite that I've been holding this entire time is this MAC lipstick that I've literally had forever. I got it for my birthday quite a while ago. I don't want to say how long ago because all you makeup freaks are going to get mad that I've kept it for this long. But it is literally such a good shade, a good like everyday go-to shade. But it is the MAC lipstick in the shade Shanghai Spice. It is such a good nude shade that goes along with that minimal makeup look. By the way, I'm not wearing that right now, obviously, because like, um, hi, who wears these lashes when they're trying to do minimal makeup? No one. <laughs> But this lipstick I've literally worn every day to uni because I love it. I'm wearing it right now because it's just a really nice nude lipstick where if some rubs off, it's not as noticeable. My next two favorites actually come from the same brand, which is my favorite brand of all time, and that is Huda Beauty. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with you. But yes, the Huda Beauty lashes are my life. There was a point in time where I would literally refuse to wear any other lashes except for these ones right here, which are Claudia number no. 6. I'd show you, but there's nothing in there because I've worn them so much this month that they are um, ruined, so I have new ones on the way. These aren't them. So apart from the lashes, which you can obviously see I'm very passionate about, but my other favorite thing from Huda Beauty is her liquid matte lips. 
lipstick. I have it here in the shade Heartbreaker. Oh, it is just such an amazing uh, liquid matte lipstick. So yes, this is amazing. The color is amazing. When I am no longer broke, I plan on buying more of these because it's that good. So up next, I have a few more beauty favorites, but they're not makeup. So the first thing is this, which you would have seen if you follow me on Instagram or my Insta story. It is Bondi Sands tanning in the shade light to medium. Yes. It is that time of year when I am getting very pale. This is actually me with some fake tan on. That's how pale I am. This time of year, just before spring and summer and the warm weather begins, is when I am always palest. So usually I start turning around this time of year and my go-to is the Bondi Sands self-turning foam in a light slash medium. I am too scared to try the dark because I'm so pale, like this is all I need. But yeah, 10 out of 10, recommend, not sponsored. Another thing I've been loving is a hair product for all you curly haired girls out there. This is actually my mum's, so shout out to you mum, thanks for, thanks for purchasing this. Go you. It is the KMS, which, oh my god, what a brand name, Curl Up. It's this right here and it is amazing for curly hair. So my hair is naturally curly, but when I dyed it blonde, it kind of killed my curls for the longest time. So they're coming back slowly now, but this just really helps with like, just, it just helps it out. Just helps it to figure out what it's trying to do with its life. So it's really, really good. So that is it for all of the beauty related items in this favorites video. So now we're gonna move on into the other favorites of this month because they don't really have a category. So starting off is the Vogue magazine for July. Is this even the July one? Yeah, the magazine of Vogue for the month of July. Because for those of you that don't know, I was actually studying fashion for the past six months. So I did fashion for a semester at university and absolutely hated it. So I have changed into a new degree now. And because I changed into a new degree, I really stopped reading fashion magazines and stuff because I didn't really need to anymore like I didn't when I was studying fashion I had to obviously keep up with what was happening and everything but I don't really need to anymore because my new degree I'm not gonna say exactly what it is because like safety reasons but it's to do with social media so I don't really need to keep up with it but this magazine oh my god so I actually read every single page from the beginning to the end which is something I haven't done in quite some time without being like forced to, not forced to, but without like studying it. So this one really well, well written and I really enjoyed everything in it. So yes. So as I was just saying, I recently changed not only university degrees, but universities themselves. And at this new uni, I have fallen in love with writing. I didn't know I liked to write until I started this new degree at the new uni. So in this month's favorites, I am also including my little journal. Look how cute it is though. Like it's a cute journal. Just because I've just been like jotting down, I don't know, things to write about all in here. All my thoughts and stuff. I just like compile in this book and it's really good. I'm not, I'm not at the point to share my writing because I am an amateur to say the least. But I've been really into writing like it's just I find it's a good way to just get all your thoughts out and yeah I've been really enjoying it. <laughs> the last thing and like books wise is oh my god I feel like I'm gonna need a lot of hate for this but it is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. The reason I think I'm gonna get a little bit of hate is because this is my first time ever reading the Harry Potter series. I know, I know, I've seen all the movies so I know what happens, but I am reading all the books now and I'm up to The Half-Blood Prince and I've not been able to put it down this month. I am just obsessed with this entire series and I'm so sad that I'm always almost at the end of it. So it's in my favorites because literally obsessed. Next in my miscellaneous favorites, we have a candle that is amazing. This candle is literally everything. It is the glass house candle in the scent Taha, which is vanilla caramel. And you guys, I'm a candle vlogger now. I'm totally kidding. But it's so good. I've never had a candle that actually makes the room smell. And I just thought, I literally, this is so embarrassing. I thought candles were a hoax. Like I've never smelled a candle that actually made the room smell good until this one. Turns out you have to actually spend some money on candles. Next up, I probably should have included this in the fashion part of this video, but I didn't. So is this bag right here. It is my hair. 
everything. Okay, no. <laughs> it is my everything though. I love this bag so much. When I started at the new uni doing the new degree and stuff that I was talking about earlier, I bought this bag as a uni bag and it works so well because it's just the right size in there to fit my laptop in and my textbooks and everything I need whilst still looking cute. And just like my channel, it looks hella bougie but was really cheap. This bag matched with the denim jacket and the nude lipstick is literally like my look at uni. So, and lastly, in my last favorites for this month is TV shows. I have been loving TV shows this month. I've been a TV show person more than a movie person this month, but that's sure to change soon. But my favorite TV shows this month have been Brooklyn Nine-Nine, How to Get Away with Murder, and Bob's Burgers. I have binge watched every episode of How to Get Away with Murder and Bob's Burgers. I know, it's so random, but they are literally amazing, and the main character in How to Get Away with Murder is Annalise Sawa. <laughs> We're actually really different though, obviously, but, <laughs> and I'm just obsessed with Bob's Burgers. It is so well made and so funny and it's just so good, so good. And so that concludes my monthly favorites for the month of July. If you guys did enjoy this video and you are keen to see more favorite videos every single month coming at you, be sure to press the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to also press that notification bell because you have to do that now. And if you want to see more of my face and my photos and all that fun stuff, I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and SoundCloud, but I only repost stuff on SoundCloud. I'm not a SoundCloud DJ on the side. Sadly, I know, we're all disappointed. And that's it. I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye. Lashes is my thing. All out, go bougie, go, go hard, go home. What am I saying? All right. <laughs> Sounds like in like primary school when the teachers like clap to get your attention, like, and then the entire class would be like, no, just me? Cool. My camera just ran out of space. So the ultimate duo for me is the Claudia number no. 6 Huda Beauty Lashes with the Daiso $2.80 glue. Match made in heaven. The glue just fell off. <laughs>